The highly anticipated Zero Hour Exotic Quest is back in Destiny 2. Completing this exotic mission will reward you with the Outbreak Perfected Exotic Pulse Rifle. You will be able to craft this pulse rifle just how you like it. It comes with new trait perks. And the reason you guys need to get your hands on this is because not only do exotic primaries do 30% more damage versus red bars, but as soon as the final shape releases, Bungie is buffing pulse rifles in PvE by 20%. So you're definitely going to want to take this into that legendary campaign or that day one raid. I'm your host paid to be famous. Sit back, relax, and I'm going to tell you guys what perks you should craft on your Outbreak Perfected. Yo, it's time to subscribe to Paid to be Famous. What are you doing? Subscribe to Paid to be Famous. Subscribe to Paid to be Famous. Like the video. Come on. Hell You, you know yeah. the drill button. And slap that like button. Woo! The Outbreak Perfected comes with the exotic perk, The Corruption Spreads. This weapon creates SIVA Nanite Swarms on rapid hits and precision kills. And it also comes with the exotic trait perk called Parasitism. This weapon does more damage to enemies based on the number of SIVA Nanites that attach to them. Now first off, looking at the barrels, normally on Pulse Rifles, I like to go with Arrowhead Break because it adds a plus 20 to your recoil direction. And at base, the Outbreak Perfected has a 80 recoil direction, so 20 more recoil direction will give you a perfect 100 and it'll be very vertical and very easy to control but on the craftable outbreak perfected you can actually change the stocks that come on it there's actually four different stocks but in my opinion the one that you start off with fitted stock is the best because it gives you that 20 recoil and a plus 10 to stability. It does hurt your handling, but it's only by five and it's not very noticeable. So if you craft fitted stock on this pulse rifle, you will have that perfect 100 recoil and a little bit more stability, which leaves our barrel option open. So I would say go with something that's going to add a little bit more range. Something like Hammer Forged gives you 10 more range. Or if you want the best of both worlds, you can go with something like Small Bore. That's going to give you 7 range and 7 stability. Now when it comes to the magazine options, if you're looking to craft this for PvP 100%, you're going to want Accurized Rounds. Gives you a plus 10 to your range. And if you're looking to main this in PvE, you're definitely going to need something that's going to increase your ammo capacity. And the biggest bump to your magazine is actually going to come from Extended Mag. Extended Mag is going to take you from 35 rounds in the magazine all the way up to 44. You do also have tactical mag and appended mag. Tac mag only gives you 38 and appended mag only gives you 41. Definitely go with extended mag in my opinion. And now for the trait perks, you've got the options of outlaw, rapid hit, rewind rounds, and head seeker. Outlaw's a good perk, but you need to get a precision kill for it to activate. So I'm going to say stay away from outlaw. If you got to have a reload perk on this, go with a rapid hit. Rapid precision hits temporarily increase stability and the reload speed and the keyword there is precision hits not precision kills you don't need to get a kill for this to activate each precision hit is going to give you one stack and it maxes out at five stacks five stacks is going to give you a plus 25 to stability and a plus 60 to your reload Rabbit Hit is a good perk, but I don't think it's the best option for this Pulse Rifle. It really comes down to if you're using this for PvP or PvE. If you guys are using this for PvE, 100% you guys are going to want to go with a Rewind Rounds. It states that when this weapon's magazine is empty, it refills from reserves based on the number of hits. And since you guys are going to go with the option of Extended Mag, you can hit upwards of around 100 rounds without having to reload and something important to note is those siva nanite hits count as body shot hits which count towards the rewind rounds so you are able to output a lot of damage for a primary weapon if you guys go with a rewind rounds for pve and then moving on to the pvp aspect you guys definitely want to go with head seeker it states that body shots landed with this weapon increase precision damage and the aim assist body shots landed while the perk is active refreshes the timer. So Headseeker is going to increase your precision multiplier by 0.1175 and it's going to give you plus 10 to your aim assist. It's really going to help you out in PvP, help you out in your 1v1s if you happen to not land all your precision hits. So Guardians, that is pretty much going to do it for the video. PvE players definitely go with the rewind rounds and max out your magazine with extended mag and PvP players, you're gonna wanna take Head Seeker. Now, before we get out of here, if you guys are new and need more Destiny 2 in your life, consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like if you enjoy the content. Follow me over on Twitch for the live streams and I'll catch you guys in the final shape.
Oh, no. Oh, it's still got him. Valiant effort. You have advantage. Don't see captured. You have zone advantage. I call her what we think in numbers, Don. Got him. Oh, 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 stallion. He almost survived that. Oh, my God. Didn't think I'd map him, but we did. There you go, return the team shot. Got your back, brother. Oh, the bounce on that. Fuck off.